to have fun make art with Mike Quinn. Uh, this is my co-host King Kitty and we're back with the big pig. I'm going to show you uh, some of the final details I've done to this. First I'll give you a quick look at how I did the goggles. So here we go. Uh, I've got the primer coat on this thing. I'm going to just do a quick little demo on how to paint these glasses. Uh, these are Createx airbrush paints. Uh, they also, if you look on there, it says opaque. Uh, that'll help you hide the undercolor. So, uh, you know, a couple coats of this will be sufficient to... So I'm going to squirt a little in there. And then I'm going to just put a few drops of the dark blue. And then mix that around and see what we get. And just kind of, I'm trying to make like a sky blue color just to start as a background for the, for the glasses. Which I think is kind of a comical look, you know, to have the sky blue. there you have it that's just the base coat of blue and then we'll let that dry and I'll come back and do some little clouds okay so we've got this first coat of blue on here and uh, it's dry nice sunny weather it's happening fast that was just a couple minutes to do that now you know in order to just do a little bit of economy I'm gonna just take this uh, white and put it on the brush directly and that way I don't have to dirty anything other than the brush and then I'm going to just do some kind of clouds in here just to imply that it's flight. That's how simple that is. Just a couple clouds in the glasses make it look a little more fun and more cartoony. We actually uh, coated this with a concrete mixture with fiberglass. Then I came back with a, a Glidden Sealer Primer, uh, this gray top coat. I really like it. Looks like it's going to be a super good adhesion. And uh, so far we dialed in the glasses and uh, we've also got the uh, wings to still do. But all in all, I'm really pleased with the overall. There's no cracking. Uh, the, the paint stuck really well. I'm really close to getting it finished. I'm excited to share it with you. And so is King. He's a rescue kitty. We encourage everybody to rescue a cat if you can. And uh, my next step is just to get this first coat of uh, white paint on these wings. So we'll go ahead and get started, show you that process. It's going to be pretty quick and easy. I've got a, a three inch chip brush, nothing fancy. And then I'm just going to really generously slather that on. And what's nice about this paint is it's going to hide that under primer color, but it also fills in a lot of these uh, roughness and will smooth out your surface pretty well. So I'm just going to get a, a base coat of this white and then I can come back later and I'll dial in some more feather like color like gray and maybe a little dash of blue to make them look more like uh, wings and more believable as a flying pig. And this is our super hog with the final finish. Uh, the last time we had the goggles painted and the, and the wings painted but since then we did two coats of pink, different shades, bright pink. And then the top coat, I did a semi-transparent wood stain, which really tied everything together, really kind of makes it look like a, a dingy, dirty pig, which I really love the way it came out. I did some little freckles before I actually did the top coat, which I love the way that shows, and uh, airbrushed inside the nose, basically got it finished up and ready to haul it to market. So if you know anybody looking for an eight-foot flying pig, this is available. And just want to thank everybody for tuning in. This is Have Fun Make Art with Mike Quinn. Until next time.